this is a good omen. Just skating towards the park in the adjacent neighborhood, I come across the whole pack. I have a pretty strict no chase policy, typically, but when they're here in a human place and I'm on my skateboard, I mean, let's go. It's not even bad if they're apprehensive of me. It's good. Where are you going? 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 Someone told me that the better a creature's night vision is, the more reflective its eyes are. Could that possibly be true? It's obvious the pack doesn't really have a strategy for encountering a person like me. Where are you guys going? I love these guys. I'ma let them go hunt and leave them alone because I didn't come here for conids tonight. Seems pretty clear that this bobcat prefers scratching on the eucalyptus trees to any other species in the park. We saw some older ones, these are some newer ones. There they look healed over. This is a beautiful, fresh marking and they all happen at about the same height up the tree. You can see how long the cat is when it reaches up and scratches. Comes up about that high. Some older tracks. Old because the ground hasn't been made that wet in a long time. One of the only scrapes on a non eucalyptus tree. And what I keep trying to do is connect some scratch marks on a tree with footprints in the ground under it. This one is a maybe. Looks like it could have uh, kind of pressed backwards as it gained traction into the scratch. But this is what I like to see where you can see the toenails in the dirt covering up scat. And I found that depth has this bitching skate spot drainage architecture that's been souped up by skaters. And I wish I could send this back to 2006 Western Massachusetts. My friends and I would have lived here. I'd be a better skater, I bet. Gnarly owl pellet on the ground, but that's not what's gnarly. This is what's gnarly. Regurgitated by the same owl. This is a only semi-formed, translucent skull caked in feathers and bones. This is an infant barn owl, likely fed to its siblings by its parent. Nature is red in tooth and claw, is what my dad says. I love this ghillie. I made one of the nice extra features of it, something you can't do with a ghillie suit. So take it off, flip it inside out, and instead of matching something furry like foliage, it'll match concrete, tree bark, stone. And then I heard more birds take wing than I've ever heard at once. Just enormous amounts of crows. And then here, 
this is what I'm looking for. Multiple, multiple scrapes and scat in the same place. Coyote scat, dog shit. Guys, this is the water I swim in and none of it looks like this. The segmented, rock hard, kind of circular balls scat covered in scraped over dirt, fur. This is not shitted out. This is just from a kill as it was eaten here. Old sign, new sign, old scat, new scat. This is where next time I will simply be camping perhaps in a tree all night. Look at that little hand. Greatest concentration of sign in one place I've ever found from the cat. Big fur, little fur. When you see old sign mixed with new sign, that means it comes repeatedly to the same spot. Beautiful moment here, two front paws looking downhill, even with a depression for its booty as it just sat and watched. Here's the first scrape that I found on my stream a couple weeks ago. Actually, I went back to this spot and then chose to stay here for what is my favorite part of these nights. Around dawn, I'll typically do an extended just sitting still. This is 30 minutes sped up. A lot of people are quick to equate Buddhist meditation and creativity. It's the opposite. I always felt like I could have been a monk or an artist, but at least for me, flow state and zazen are opposites. Only this year, as I'm trying to get animals on camera for my creative projects, do I have for the first time the feeling of reuniting a Zen meditation practice with an active art composition. Maybe in another video I'll say why. It's my dream to devote 100% of my energy to making art and making media and not needing to hold down a day job in the service industry. Hitting like and subscribe moves me closer to that, so thanks if you did, and thank you for watching.